Welcome back to Redneck Garage YouTube channel. Before we get into the video talking about these whips, keep in mind it's daylight, you can't really see them. We're going to talk about them, but I also have a clip of the music mode in the garage in the darkness so you'll be able to see them fairly well. We'll play that here shortly. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsor, www.cfmotousaparts.com. Get on over and check them out. Use discount code capital redneck to save some money on your orders for all of your CF Moto parts and accessories. And guys, they have way more than that. They are Curran RV. So www.currentrv.com. Get on over there and check out your campers, trailers. They have everything from power sports for all your needs, everything. Get on over there and check them out. Another sponsor we want to thank today is Oxbeam for sponsoring these LED whips. These whips are very, very, very nice quality. Look at that. Very flexible, durable. I don't think you could break these out on a trail. I, I really don't. Oxbeam has been sponsoring our channel for going on, what, three years now? Maybe a little bit longer than three years. They were one of the first sponsors we ever had. And every time they ask me to review a product, I do it because I know that they're gonna send me over something quality. Now guys, I did not reach out to them. I was actually going to reach out to them about these whips and some other things. And just so happened, they reached out to me and I gave them a list of things that I needed for this. And they're like, it's yours, Redneck. Do us some videos, it's yours. Guys, I don't just put anything on this channel not anything if it's good you'll see it here if it's not good you'll never even know that i had it in my hands and yes there has been some things ain't there actually here recently that did not make it onto the youtube channel and actually i sent it companies emails and said nah nah this ain't happening so if you see it here you can trust and believe it's an honest review I'm never asked to do something that I don't want to do. So Laura, what do you think about these lights? I think they look awesome. They look cool on they this. Do. I was kind of skeptical about being that guy that it puts cool these on though. the four wheeler, but hey, they look cool and I think it'll make visibility that much more awesome. Yeah. And guys, I'll have links down below in the description as to where you can get these. I know a lot of you have been asking me about the cell phone holder handlebar mount holder deal. I'll have the link for that down below in the description as well. And guys, installation was very easy. We just installed it right into our Oxbeam fuse panel that Oxbeam was nice enough to send us. Also, I wanted to show you guys, you got to flat spot these with the grinder and then well we use this holding as an example they fit real snug right down in these lock and ride holes so guys installation was super easy for these puppies and guess what later on down the road we'll be utilizing this feature but these are left and right they have built-in turn signals and brake lights. Sweet. So you can hook these into your brake lights and you can hook them into your turn signals. Now I'm gonna be trying my best to try to street legal this, but I don't know because this is gonna be our woods adventure kind of mudding toy a little bit. I really like mud in this because you don't get dirty. This thing, but I kind of want to make it road legal just so I can like ride to my buddy Nick's up the street or ride down the road to get some water from the um what you call it down there yeah the, what, the spring or whatever the spring it is. down there so mainly that i won't be like cruising this thing you know to work who am i kidding yeah I, yeah i definitely would so if we're able to do that we will hook up those functions that'd be cool if we're not able to do that we won't be utilizing those functions but it does have those functions it has music mode and we're about to show you that right now. That's a pretty 
pretty neat feature, isn't it guys? The music mode on this, it uses the microphone on your cell phone and you can play music and it picks it up or you can play music through the app. Now, I'm gonna be straight up and honest with you, the app sucks. Oxbeam, I love you. I really love you, but the app sucks. Now, it did come with a remote control. I have not played with that yet. I wanted to wait the camera to see. So, it's got mode. Oh, it works good. Or, no? You don't want to do anything. It works. Oh, is it? It's speeding it up, but it's not changing the mode. There you go. There, it's changing the mode. That's cool. There we go. I like that. I like that. See, it was working. That's pretty nifty, huh? So it does come with a remote control, and it also comes where you can put it on your keychain. I just hanging out in this cubby hole here. So you guys are looking to get some whips. I highly, highly recommend anything, anything Oxbeam, especially that fuse panel. That thing is a lifesaver for hooking up accessories, keeping things nice and tidy and clean and neat and organized. And if you ever blow a fuse, you just go into that fuse panel, which let's hope that you don't, but it does happen. I haven't had a fuse blow in that fuse panel on my side by side, but you never know. You could get a cut in a wire or something and blow a fuse. Super easy to find, no tracking down wires, no messing around. That fuse panel, which will be linked down below, is a must have. I know it costs a little bit of money, but it's definitely a must have when you're hooking up accessories. Now, this one is the eight gang. Am I ever gonna put eight accessories on here? If I do, they're not gonna be electronic accessories. I can't think of eight electric accessories that I'm gonna run. Can you? No. But, listen, this is Redneck Garage. We go above and beyond, and when Oxbeam was offering to send it to me, I was like, yeah, give me the eight gang. I, I, I gotta go big or go home. But for the average person, the six gang should should do. Unless you're that guy that has to have lights on the side, lights in the front, lights in the rear. But listen, I'll be completely honest with you. This 600 with the LED lights in the front, you do not need a light bar, do you? It's bright. They are bright. You do not need a light bar. If you need a light bar, you need to stay at home. Because them suckers will blind you. This whip review here. Not really. They're bright. bright. You seen them yesterday. Really, really cool you seen them yesterday in the dark. They're bright. They're, They're really made bright. They're really durable too. They're very durable. They are not your average cheap Amazon China whip. These no. things are not going anywhere. No. They look real good. I love the black. You know how a lot of them are white. Yeah. I love black. how they use the black LED strips, and I love how they use the black. Um, I don't know if they're using actual whips. I don't these. know. A lot of them are their actual antennas. I don't know, but they're black and they just, they look so they good. Look, yeah, they do. And it, this plastic, you know the heat shrink that they uh -huh. use? This looks a lot thicker than it some does. of the ones. We've had quite a few sets of cheaper ones. That's really... And all, don't get me wrong, all the other ones I've reviewed here on the channel, they, they were great lights also. We, yeah. We never once had a single issue other than the sun turning just these uh, like different colors. But I think color. that's every whip on the planet it that does time. that. We'll see if these do that. But this plastic, it feels a lot thicker than some of them other ones we had. Yeah. So, uh, Oxbeam, listen. Oxbeam sells a good product. If it says Oxbeam on it, you can be sure that it's a good product. And you, if you do have an issue with it, reach out to them. They will take good care of you. We had one issue, one time, that was with your whips, or your rock lights. Yeah. They had to send me out a new controller, but they did. They, they did. With, was... Now, they take good care of you guys. They take real good care of you. So, Saturday, we're taking this puppy out. Wife said I had to behave behind the handlebars. 
So I'm going to behave myself. I'm not going to act retarded. And if I do, she's going to get off and let me act retarded. Then she'll get back on. But I don't blame her. Because I don't want to have to sling her and the four-wheeler away from me. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. We'll be riding with a Seaforce 1000 come Saturday. As long as he shows up. I hope he does. Yep, hopefully he does. Everybody says they will. They never do. But we'll see. I, I have he high hopes. He's, he's super excited. And guess what? He's bringing me an exhaust for this. Really? Yeah. Nice. He's bringing me an exhaust for this. We're doing a little bit of bartering. But he's bringing me an exhaust. That's cool. I told him that he could have you if I had the exhaust. Oh, jeez. He told me no, he would just give me the exhaust. Nah, just kidding. We are working out a deal. He's going to start a YouTube channel and I'm giving him a camera. That's cool. My DJ Osmo that I really I really like that camera, but I don't use it. Yeah, you got all your other I ones. got all the GoPros and I have all the GoPros like when I get used to the GoPros I set the settings you know and then I gotta go to the Osmo and the settings I gotta relearn them. So when I have all the same camera it just makes things easier for in the trail and I gotta do a quick setting yep. to catch a quick moment or something, but makes sense. Yep. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see me do to this puppy. I'm thinking 27s with some beadlock rims. I've seen a set, a really nice set, a white aluminum alloy rim. White. White. Snow white. Like oh, this wow. white. That's cool. What do you think? That'd be too much white? I don't think so. I think it would pop. If I could find a set of white rims with some blue beadlocks around them, That'd be cool. That'd be sick, guys. So remember to thank our sponsors and check out our links down below. It helps support what we do here on the channel. I know this wasn't a super interesting video, but everybody loves LED lights. Yeah. When it comes to LED lights, people love LED lights and they got to see what they're about, right? Yeah. I know, dude, she takes me to the store. I see anything with LED. It ends up in the, in the car, don't it? Usually. I have more flashlights then the flashlight factory got flashlight. That's a pretty color, this one, like speaker or anything. All the blue? Yeah, it's like a teal color. Yep, teal. Those change a, a different color. That's pretty. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. God bless.